here today to pick up my new Renault, wrapped to get a uh, new Colios. I can't wait to get out on the roads of Adelaide and uh, drive around and show all the Port Adelaide people that we're really proud and pleased to have Renault on board with us. Unlock the car, it unlocks absolutely everything in the car. So all four doors and the, uh, and the rear tailgate as well. With the fuel, it will take normal unleaded if you want. So it'll go through the whole ranges of normal unleaded to, uh, to premium unleaded. So just on the, on the drive side, obviously you've got your four power windows and also the lock for the, uh, for the children in the back there with their power windows. It uses a sensor which is on the windscreen, so that as it rains, the wipe will come on automatically for you. You can adjust the sensitivity, so for different types of rain, uh, but what I normally do is I normally leave it on water and let the car look after itself. On the other side for the indicators, again, you've got off, going through to your normal headlights, and then finally you've got an auto function, which means as it gets dark, the headlights come on automatically for you. With the seat, you've got electric operation for the driver, just basically put it forward and back, and then up and down as well. Use cruise control before you get to, the set, get to your speed where you want to be. In this case, just hit the plus and it will set it there. On the dashboard, it will tell you exactly what speed you're doing. You can set a speed so that as you then reach that speed, the car, the car detects that and it will actually pull back on the throttle for you. So you might set it for say 60 kilometres an hour as you, you can go as fast as you like up to 60, but as soon as you hit it, it'll then pull it back on the, on the throttle. Up on the top part of the middle there of the dash, that big screen, that's your satellite navigation information. So that's, all, that's the picture of the car going around. It's a TomTom -Tom brand satellite navigation. Renault have not tried to reinvent the satellite navigation system. It's, uh, they're using already technology that's already out there. If you need to update your maps, there's a little SD card just right of the screen. You take it out, put it into a computer, you can update the maps. You've got nine buttons there. Okay, they are basically they're satellite buttons for the stereo system. From here, you can also make telephone calls, you can answer telephone calls, you can adjust the volumes, etc. With the stereo system, so volume is that as well as that is your on and off button. Then I've also got volume button here and here. It will Bluetooth stream music straight to the stereo if you want to do it that way or if you actually want to physically plug it in you can do it that way, so at least that way it charges your phone as you're, as you're going along too. You've got another 12 volt in there as well, if there's anything else that you need to charge. That's climate control air conditioning, so basically the driver and the passenger can have two different temperatures. Passenger can adjust the temperature, even the people in the back have got, a, um, have got air vents either side, and they've also got, uh, they can also adjust the fan speed through a button just on the back of the centre console there. So that's your key, that slides into a slot, in the lower section of the dashboard. Hit that. That's it, car started. To stop it, hit the button again. That's your handbrake or your park brake. It's electronic and it's also automatic for you as well. So if you need to put the handbrake on, put your foot on the brake, pull it up and the handbrake comes on. <laughs> One of the things that, that we have actually done is under the destination section, under the favourites, Oh look, there's our service department. So if you ever want to, <laughs> when you come back, click on that. We know how to get there. Exactly. Uh, now, if you want to also fold these seats down, if you want to get really big, uh, big load carrying capacity, pull up the little lever here on the side, flip the seat up there first, and then there is another lever at the top of the seat, and then that comes down, and then just fold it back up in reverse. Then you're done. It is a dual stage one, which means that that also then comes down as well. Uh, that will take 200 kilos on the back there. So if it's a case of that uh, the kids are out playing footy and they've got the footy boots on, just sit them on there, take the footy boots off so when they get, get into the car and get muddy. That's all spring loaded, that will come out if you really need to. So if you've, uh, if you've got anything that's that much higher. This seat uh, is different to the driver's seat whereby it's manually operated here, as well as that seat will also come down and come down perfectly flat too. So if you ever want a bit of a desk to work out while you're in the car, you can do that too. Hopefully I've gone through everything with you all right. Um, hopefully you're going to be happy with them because they are a very, very nice car to drive. Thank you very much, guys.